Hello everybody, it's Boaz Feiler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for June 23rd, 2016. So these are very long days that we're going through, not only literally with sunlight being so <coughs> abundant, but long days energetically we can feel exhausted and want to sleep every free minute we get. These are exhausting times, energe energetically in the sky with all the mutable energy. It's not easy, but there's a lot of progress going on. So don't forget to tap yourself on the back for that and give yourself the pit stops that you need. Today we wake up to a moon in Aquarius. If you are in Central Europe, then it will be Queen Kongsing Venus in your early, af in your early noon time. <clears throat> and that's a sensitive time concerning relationships, we really have to pay attention how we treat others, how we react to the treatments of others on us, you know. The whole interaction between ourselves and other people in our life should be closely watched today and scrutinized in a sense. Not in a harsh, unforgiving way. Yes, Georgia, you want to come here? but in a gentle, in a soft manner, in an accepting way that understands that if we aim to grow and become better human beings, we have to do it with a lot of self-love and a lot of acceptance. And then after that, we can start changing things. After that, we can <clears throat> say, okay, I've learned from my mistakes, I'm going to do it differently next time. So, Yes, I was just going to say that. Okay, so Georgia reminds me that this is a sensitive day with relationships, but it's a very good day in your career and work environments. There's a sextile between the moon and Saturn today, making us more composed, more reliable, and better, <clears throat> um, better equipped to carry responsibility upon our shoulders and take it forward. So it's a very good day for anything that concerns your business dealings. Later on today, <coughs> and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm losing my voice, <laughs> God forbid. So that sextile to Saturn is going to be at its height at around 1900 hours Central European time. That's around 1300 hours Eastern Standard Time. Later on that day, there's a Queen Conx to Jupiter and a trying to Vista that's around 2 a.m. in the morning time, Central European time, but it is only 20 hundred hours Eastern Standard Time. And that's a time, if you are in the United States, that we should be more modest than usual and ask for less. And during these days with Mars retrograding in Scorpio, all our lower chakras are being mixed in reverse. And we can feel our impulses coming out and we would want to act upon them and we want to indulge ourselves and we want to let loose and be naughty. And that's not always the right answer. And this Mars in Scorpio, in retro, is Queen Kongsing, Uranus and Ceres that are conjunct in Aries. This is a time that we learn how to n nurture and care for other people in a new way in our lives. And through that, through the new respect we gain to the, the, the concept of nurturing in our lives and the giving to others in our lives, we gain respect towards ourselves. And as we gain respect towards ourselves, as a direct result of how we treat other people better, nicer, in a more respectful and nourishing way, our self-worth grows. We heal places that are insecure within us and we, try, and we start to treat ourselves better. So we can expect changes. On the one hand, the need to go after our impulses, which is not the right answer these days. On the other hand, the calling to be more sensitive and nourishing towards other people. And then from the next step from, that, uh, from 
from there is nourishing and treating ourselves better. And we can see profound changes in people and in ourselves during these days regarding a more healthy lifestyle, better nutrition, more exercise, because we gain respect towards ourselves, towards our bodies, towards who we are. And we recognize the importance of our role as caregivers, as, nur as nourishment providers to people around us as well. So, don't ask for too much and don't go after your impulses. And I hope this is the beginning of a beautiful weekend for you. This is Boaz Feiler. I thank you for listening. And I'm always here for Skype sessions and private consultations. I'm free for lectures and private lessons as well, and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.